course. Take two. two. Huh? We're stuck here. You did it. I know, we're just recording for no reason. Okay, so <clears throat> now that we're actually recording, we can get to the video. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, myself and Ashton are going to be doing the girlfriend and boyfriend tag. We yes. just recorded ourselves for five minutes to realize the camera wasn't even on. So good thing we only answered one question out of these questions that we chose. So, All right, now we're going to be getting to it. Um, so basically how this works, guys, is John and I will both ask each other questions. I don't know how other people do this, but this is just how we're going to do it. Um, I'm going to ask him a question, he's going to answer it the best he can, and then he's going to answer or ask me a question, and I'm going to answer the best I can, and we're just going to keep doing that. We have 73 questions on this list that I found online, and we're going to pick the most interesting ones that we want to ask. Um, so, um, if you guys have any video ideas for us, if you have prank ideas, challenge ideas, vlog ideas, um, anything, let us know down in the comments, otherwise you can reach me on Instagram or Snapchat or anything else on my, in the description there are all of our social medias, John doesn't use social media because he's weird like that, but, what? you are weird Maybe like I'm that. normal like that. No. I mean it's a good thing, but when you have to do it like me, then you have to do it, so. You gotta do it. Alright, so. Um, yes, you're able to reach me on any of those platforms down below in the description. So I'm going to ask John a question first, and you have to answer it the best you can. I will answer it to the best I can. If I can meet any celebrity, who would I love to meet? And give any, me a reason why. Any celebrity. I mean, you guys, I'm not really a big fan girl. I've never been a fan girl of anybody, so. You're not. I mean, I love certain artists, um, music artists and actors and actresses and stuff like that, but I don't really have anybody who I'd like, oh my okay. god, you know, like, I'd, like I'm like i fangirling over. I know, I know who you'd want to meet. Who? Um, is it, is it Melissa, Melissa McCarthy? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Because if I could spend why. one day with her, that'd yes. be the coolest shiz ever. I absolutely think that that'd be the best one for you to meet because of two reasons. One, I feel like she'd be down to earth because of the style that she does of acting. Like, she's not like an uptight one. She seems like the relaxed comedy one. Because otherwise, I was going to say Sandra Bullock. I love her. But Melissa McCarthy seems like it'd be easier to even get along with because she's just all about comedy. Oh, yeah. So that's who I picked for that reason. I okay. feel like you guys get along. I'll give you that. That's that's pretty accurate. You know, I don't really have an actor or actress or um, uh, any celebrity that I'd, like, really be crazy to meet. I'm you, just not like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, some celebrities could be kind of too intense when you first meet them. I feel like she'd so... be super fun, but she'd be super chill and super sweet right. in she, person. She would make you feel, like, awkward at all. Or, like, place. she's better than you or anything like that. Exactly. Yeah. But those, actually, I'm going to give that to you. Like, Sandra Bullock, I love her, and I also love Melissa McCarthy. So, all right, your turn. Pick all up right. any question you want to ask. What's our song? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Really? No. Do you have an answer to that? I don't. I just want to see what you're going to oh. say. Oh. That's the way I like the huh? I'm just joking. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that one fits. I have a song in mind. <laughs> I would say, um, tonight. Take me to the other side. The sparks fly like, like the Fourth of July. July. Yeah, that's actually what I was gonna say. No. -uh. Yep. Who's that by again? That's Jason Derulo. That's right. Yeah. If I could live anywhere in the world, where would I live? Anywhere. I will give you this here. If it was okay, I'll give you two different options. If I could live anywhere in the United States, where would I live? And if I could live anywhere outside of the country, where would I live? Okay, I got a question for you before I answer this, though. Okay. Is the place that you'd like to live in the United States your number one choice world? No, that's why I'm giving you both options. You okay. answer the one that I want to live in, in the States. Cali. And outside the States. Okay, you got Cali right. Cali's yeah. right. Outside the States. God, see, this is a tough one because you, I mean... I always thought Cali was your number one pick. I never knew there was something greater than that. Well, there's really not one, but the thing is is that you cannot compare the states to other countries. Like, it's just an unfair judgment. All right, all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the states, it's, it's where I'm used to. Like, obviously, I've never really been everywhere in the states, but 
you can go places that are way far different outside of the states. So that's why I'm giving you the option of in and outside. Is it, is it part of the Caribbean? Maybe. Bahamas? Yeah. Nassau. Yeah, I'd probably live in the Bahamas. That would be nice to have those nice, clean, clean ocean fronts every day. The sandy beaches. God damn. Yeah, you got that right. If I could, what candy would I eat all day long? Candy. That's easy. Gummy worms. Gummy worms? Or bears. Anything oh, that's gummy. Any, Absolutely. Any form of gummy candy. Sweet, sour, anything. I don't, I don't even really like sweets that much. You don't? I don't like chocolate too much. Like, you won't see me just buying chocolate. So I He's want it. I'll like, munch on it a little bit here and there. Chips and beef jerky and gummy worms and bears. That's uh, about it. Yeah. What is the first thing I do in the morning? First thing you do in the morning is you start cleaning. Ace up. But what do I do? What do sweeping I sweeping mainly? That's like the first go-to thing is sweeping. Yeah, sweeping is the number one thing I do. Absolutely, you are OCD. I like to start my day off on a good note. Okay, what's my weirdest habit? Your weirdest habit? Yeah, let's go with that one. Oh, um, I think one of the weirdest habits you have is pacing. I mean, it's not really like super weird. There's a lot of things you do. Like you like to pace that around the house for some reason, no Absolutely. reason why. Um, you leave the toilet bowl, the toilet lit up. You leave the shower curtain open after you shower. And those aren't ha like. Those are habits. Weird, really those are though. they're well, they're not weird. That's the thing. The pacing's kind of weird. I do pace a lot, guys. Like I. Did pace. you have an idea in your head before you asked me that? Yeah, I, I thought for sure you're gonna say taking hot baths too much. Like I mm, thought you were gonna jump on. I that mean, yeah, it's kind of weird, but. Go ahead. Out of all of the places that we have been in the world, well, in the country, which city is my favorite? Okay, so it's in Texas. <sighs> There's one city that I just was head over heels with, and I would probably actually move there. Is it Corpus Christi? Yeah. Yeah, got, got it. me. Yep. It is a beautiful town. Right on the ocean front, nice weather and pretty windy. Yeah. Whataburger. There's oh a my Whataburger. god! I would be at Whataburger every day. Dude, that was. I'd good. be. I'd be at least packing ten more pounds with, than I am right now. Hopefully, it all would go to my butt. Okay, go. All right. When do I become the biggest fanboy? Like what? When makes Dragon me... Ball's on TV, duh. You think so? <laughs> I didn't even notice you were wearing that. You think that. so? Okay. Okay. Got it. Bam. I don't really think you are a fanboy. You've never been like that either. I don't like overly excess over it. I'm not gonna sit there and... I'd say like if somebody starts talking to you about like anime, like mainly Dragon Ball, that's when you get like fanboy over the show. Damn right. Was that right? You are right. What is one thing that I love to do that most people don't love to do? Do you like to stand on one leg all the time, I like in a flamingo style? I do, you guys. She's flamingo leg, like staying in there cooking something. One leg up, one leg down. That's kind of something that normal people don't do. Okay, you like to spend excess amount of time just cooking mushroom and onions. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a good true. one that normal people don't do. I, I'm I, good at making mushroom and onions. Caramel I saute. I them onions. Yum yums. Yum yums. <laughs> what weird talent do I have? Weird talent? Do I have a weird talent? I want to know if you think I have a weird talent or not. I don't really think you have weird talents, but you're a really good artist. You're very good with technology. Um... If I won a thousand dollars, what would I spend it on? A bangle. I got my two bangles. I don't need another one. Okay, so ruling those out, you wouldn't spend it. You'd just save it. Good job. Yes. Damn, you know me. What's my shoe size? All right. You are a 12 in running shoes, but you are a 12. Wait, no. You're a 12 in regular shoes and a 11.5 in running shoes. Absolutely. Who is the dominant one in the relationship? You're asking me? Be honest. Me. John? No. The dominant one. Not at all. In the bedroom. I, I mean, I'd rather have you be the dominant one in the bedroom. In, okay. in like... On normal stuff? 
you're the dominant one. On everything Normal other than stuff. that. Yeah. But on the big decisions... John, don't even... I think those guys... I made two mistakes in my life, guys. I bought a dog. I... We didn't have the proper housing for the dog or the proper yard or anything like that at the time. I made a mistake. I'm an animal lover. I just wanted to bring a fur baby home and love it. You know, that's what I wanted to do. But John over here thinks that I, it's like the end of the world and I made like a horrible mistake. <sighs> okay. And I moved into this apartment with him that was $1,200 a month back when we were super poor and we couldn't afford it. So that was a mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you think about it. I love how you just own it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, in in 7.25 years. Seven years and three months, what other mistakes do I make? That's true. I mean, I got three cats, but they're, on, they're, they're not bad decisions. They're great decisions. For I'm, you. You love them. We got all them little shits. We agreed you take care of them hand and foot. Yeah. Everything they needed. I'm the dominant one in the relationship, you guys. You heard it here first on Ashton and John. When slash where did we meet? That's a dumb one. We both know that. Pick a different one. Okay, okay. We, you guys, we met in we met in high school, in gym class. Where slash when was our first kiss? God, I don't know. Oh. It was at Mystic Lake, wasn't it? Yes. At the casino. Yes. <laughs> that was, uh, was a good time. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a very good time. <laughs> no, Who said. said I love you first? This guy. Own it, John. Just own it. it. We were only dating for like, what, a month at that point? Not even? Uh, like, two weeks. Two or three weeks. Me and Ashton had... I was in the bathtub. Okay, this is TMI for the little children watching, so if you're, like, under the age of, like, 13, please change the channel. Yes. Um, anyway, um, I was taking a bath, and I can't remember. I, I, you came in the bathroom... And I think I stood up to get out of the bath and like I had just got my period so it got on the floor and I was super embarrassed and then you walked out and you're like, it's okay. And you're like, I love you. And I was like, I'm not saying it back. <laughs> I didn't say it back because I was like, it's too soon. And I didn't even really mean to say it, it kind of just slipped as a way of making you feel a little bit more comfortable, but I did. I mean, I had such strong feelings for you right from the get-go. John said he loved me first. God, how long after that did we actually, like, start saying love you? Like a week. I doubt that. Because I felt long. it was so awkward. I was like, he loves me? Ugh. Like, you did not. <laughs> yeah, I you did. You loved it. No, I felt so awkward. I felt so weird. Like, I, I felt I loved you too, but I was not ready to say it. So it was ah. super awkward to me. What did you learn from me? What's something you've learned from me? This is a good one. I've learned how to make rice. Okay, so cooking? <laughs> no, just rice. And mushrooms and onions. No, I make mine different. But you use like the same technique. I, I don't use all the same ingredients. Give that to me, hon. That's me. That made me proud when I learned how to make that. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Somebody showed you what you do with the oil and the butter. Like you. Didn't you just... learned that from the every plates we ordered. So I learned up. that when I was like 16. Okay, what did I learn from John? I learned from John that no guy will ever love you, and that you're just nothing to them. That's what I've learned. Okay, I'm just joking. <laughs> ha ha ha! That was I, my heart breaks in half. I so. have learned from John how to cook certain stuff. I knew how to cook certain stuff before, but I learned how to make extra stuff from him. And I've learned some technology stuff, I'd say I've learned. Um, how to use, like, Streamlabs and, like, how to use different things. Um, I've learned that you're a better guy than any other guy that I've ever met. But you're really not, I'm joking. Oh, God, no, so close. I am, I'm being honest a little bit, kind of. I thought you were gonna go with some fitness too, because I do try to be a trainer to you sometimes, but you're hard. John. She's really hard to tell what to do because she's so bossy, even at the gym. Okay, so you're doing those, 
Oh, I suppose I'm doing everything wrong. I might as well not even be working out. No, dude, I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> I get mad because I'm good at working out too. You had, you were not big into working out like that before we started dating. You got really into working out when you and I were together. No, but I did have decent experience. But you like didn't, been you didn't teach me that much. Like you taught me some stuff, but I've also taught you stuff. Yeah. We've both taught each other stuff. Nobody with, said that though. Like we're, I've I've taught you stuff with working out too. Yeah, but this isn't the question. You didn't ask me what you've taught me. I've asked you what I've taught you, so that doesn't. Yeah, but that's, that's like I mean, there's really not a whole lot of working out stuff that you've taught me. Man, I actually train you and I make you do stuff and. Yeah, like. Are you gonna count that in there for a little bit? That's about what I've learned from you. I mean, obviously there's other things too, but I want to ask you the same question. Oh, Jesus Christ, I can't do that. I've learned I'll be much more clean with uh, picking up my own messes. She makes sure of that one. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, you're out. You don't. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've learned how to be a dad because of you. You've helped me with that. I'm a pretty good dad. Are you, well, I mean, everything I know in a way you've kind of helped learn with because I know I needed to take care of you and Zoe and that's why I learned most of it, you know? So in a roundabout way, damn near everything I've learned as an adult has partially come from you. You know what I mean? Wait, so you're saying you want to take care of me and Zoe like we're two babies and no, that's how you learn? being a parent. We work together to learn how to be parents. Okay, know? that's better, thank you. I, th I think once you, like we've been in a relationship since I was 19, you were 18. Like, our entire adult lives we've learned everything together. So I know, that's Almost crazy. like half the stuff I've learned you've been there for, you know? True. Same. But I'm, just some specific ones I learned from you though. I learned how to be more patient be a better person, and I'm more clean. Yeah? Okay. I think those are pretty important ones. Okay, complete this sentence. My boyfriend is a blank. Is blank, not a, uh, is blank. <laughs> you can add the uh. But. My boyfriend is... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll buy it, that's good enough. My boyfriend is not my fiance. Or not my husband, or not proposing to me. Oh, <laughs> you didn't see that one coming, did no, you? No, I didn't. Jesus, Ashton, you didn't put me on blast on a video. <laughs> my boyfriend is super sweet because he massages my back and my butt and my legs and my. Super kind sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. He's super nice because he likes to give me body massages. Um, by body massages, I mean my neck, my butt. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Um, I'll take it. It's calm. He's super sweet most of the time, but once he sometimes he can be really crabby, which is not fun because it's annoying. Um, <laughs> At least you're he's honest. fun to play video games with. He's fun to watch TV with when he actually pay, gives me time. Um, <laughs> Alright, my turn. Next! How'd you like that? That was good. Which of my hobbies do you find least interesting? Hobbies that I find least interesting. Hobbies are something I actually enjoy to do. So I... don't give me none of that BS like, well, <laughs> you like to clean a house, but I don't like to clean a house. So that's something that I don't like. I actually did consider cleaning that was a hobby for you. Ruling out any of that stuff. It's um, something that I like to do and I don't like to clean. I have to clean. That's something that is like a, a need to do, not a okay. want to do. I find it boring to make photo collages. I, I like them. I think that they're cool. But like that one you made there, I think it's cool. But the act of doing it, I find incredibly boring for me. Oh, it's so like scrapbooking. Scrapbooking, I find just dreadfully dull. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So if you ever ask me for assistance with that, you're going to see this face just, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's fine because I don't want you to have to do that with me. I feel like it's fun by myself, to be honest. That's something I like to do by myself. Right. There's things you just like to do by yourself yeah. that you can collectively you just think about. Hmm. But shopping, yeah. Shopping is Target. Dear God, I hope Target is destroyed by some kind of cataclysmic event. What is my favorite video game? Oh, this is a tough one. No, it's not. It is because it's not, there's no relevance into, I'd say 
your favorite video game would be a Diablo with me. Ding, ding, Absolutely. ding. Got yeah. it. We had so much fun in that Couch Slayer co-op for weeks. Just When's straight When's the new one playing. coming out? Isn't it delayed? There's two new ones coming out. There's the phone one and then there's Diablo 4. Where, when is 4 coming out? They hit 2020 sometime at the end of the year. So Should we just get the other one for the PlayStation and play it? Or do we already have it on there? We already have Reaper Souls, yeah. But Can we play it together? I really would love that. I know, we beat it so many times, though. We got yeah. everything. All right. The phone one's coming out within the next I don't want to play the phone one. All right, I have one more, and then you can read whichever ones you want. Okay. Who usually wins all of our arguments? This girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you even win them or if I just give up. What do we usually argue about? We usually argue about the house being messy because John doesn't know how to clean. I do so much every day. I do so much more than you. No, quit. <laughs> no. I do the dishes, so do I do I. the garbage, I do the litter, I help you sweep, I help with the laundry every time. I help with everything Zoe related, absolutely. Wipe up but that messes. is what we fight about. That and that I feel so stressed out and overworked that I need help and that if I don't like have like I, like the things that we fight about are usually like the house being messy or if like one of us has a really bad attitude we'll fight about that. Mm -hmm. Um otherwise we'll fight about um what was the thing I was just talking about? <laughs> what we'd fight about. No, before that. Like, the one that I just kind of... Cleaning? No. Bad attitude, crabby? Oh. Or, um, that I feel overworked and, like, that I need help and John's unable to help me with the things that I need help with because he's not experienced doing those things. So I have to do them myself and then I go just crazy because I feel so overworked that... I'm super unhappy. So that's all the stuff that we fight about. But we don't have real fights. Like when we have real fights, it's like once or twice a year. Like a real fight, like where one of us will sleep on the couch. Yeah, I think everyone slept on the couch twice like, in our relationship. And I have probably slept on the couch like twice. So I mean, it, four or five times a um, during our seven years, four to five times we fought like that. And we're parents too. I think that puts a lot of strain it on does, our It does, yeah. So we don't really fight. I mean, we argue and we bicker and we say things to each other, you know, stuff like that. But we don't really, we don't really have real fights. Mm -hmm. Agreed. What's my nickname? Johnny. No, you gave me a nickname. I never... Oh, Jimbo. Why? Why do you call me Jimbo? Is that the one you're thinking yes. of? Yes. I call him Jimbo you because... both do it. Me and Zoe both call John Jimbo because in the show, in the movie Boss Baby, there's a baby named Jimbo. And he is a fat baby. <laughs> Google him. And John gained so much weight for a while, I was calling him Jimbo. I don't know why, but it was funny, so I did it, and it just stuck. And it's and like, dude, I wasn't that big at all. He was like 210, 215 pounds. Yeah. But for him, like, you weigh 100 and what, 60 now? 170? Yeah, right around there. What do you weigh? Like 165, 166. Okay, so he weighs about 165 right now. So for him being up to 215, I mean, I just called him Jimbo. Yeah, I yeah, I got a little bit bigger there, but Jesus, that was mean. I in partially she saved it in the phone. I'm like, what, Jimbo? You mean from Boss Baby? Yeah, that's his nickname in my phone, you guys. Um, what's my nickname? Before we end this video, I want to know what my nickname from you was that you never call me anymore. Which one, Goddess? Mm-hmm. Don't say you do because you have not. Oh, called I haven't called you in a while. Yeah, it's I been, didn't think you like it. It's too been much. years. You haven't yeah. called me that in probably three, four years. And you know what girls do, and this is a big eye opener for any girls watching this, is if you want somebody to call you something, never ever bring up that you don't like it or anything like that, or you don't think that. So if they say, "Oh, you're my goddess," you don't actually think that. Never say those words because that incorporates that a negative feedback into saying it. So that's why John doesn't call me in anymore. So all he calls me is nothing. Oh, uh, that's not true. I call you tons of good You call stuff me babe. I call you babe. Honey. Hun. Hun, babe, and Ashton. I call you gorgeous sometimes. 
beautiful, rare, sexy. You call me <laughs> hot when you want in my pants. That's about it. You heard it here first on Ashton and John. I call you good things all the time. Shit, I'd say it's probably 10 to 1 when no, you call me. No, not even. Alright guys, that is our boyfriend girlfriend tag. We hope that you enjoyed it. Let us know what other videos we can do down below in the comments. Um, yeah, so, got anything to say Jimbo? No, like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, and that's it. Turn on your notifications.